Um, and if you have, uh, I'm sure we've got probably ethical people here at the Louisiana uh, Board of Registration, but I mean, if you have. Well, yeah. well, you know, that wasn't kind necessarily. Of <laughs> but, uh, but uh, you know, that is, a, that is a problem. That is a possibility uh, that could happen. But um, what do you guys think? Uh, I think the idea of paying the 6000 up front, I, I like a sure thing. Mm -hmm. And just because, like you say, you know, those of the 6,000 you collected, whoops, a thousand of them were fly by night. Mm -hmm. And then you get knocked off the ballot at the last minute through no fault of your own. Right. And so I like your, I like your pay the 6,000, then let's work on getting our name out there some other way. You say, Mohammed, the signing of the petition will cause people to think, well, who is Jeff George? Right. Well, there would be the intent behind that. Right. But and I also know from just a week ago, on a Friday night and a Saturday at home at uh, Walmart down here in Colonial, mm -hmm. somebody came through with flyers, handyman service. Willing to do X, Y, Z, A, B, C. Two days later, I called. His wife answered the phone. He had like 300 people call him for jobs that they wanted done. Yeah, little stuff, but handy man stuff. Right. What a good way to get your name out there. This is uh, this is the uh, what the, uh, the signature card looks like. Yeah, they just signed stuff at the airport this past week over on Page Field. Two people wanted. They were getting signatures to get petitions put on the ballot. Well, you know, with it, um, what, okay, what is what would be a, what do you think would be a fair time frame to say uh, uh, to expect people to get signatures? What's your deadline? Uh, May second. May second. Mm -hmm. April fifteenth. Yeah. Okay, so we well, have the meeting in two weeks. What and you have to have at least fifty percent of it. No, you oh, yeah. have to have seventy percent of it at that point. Yes. Yeah, you know, I because I, if you if you're not over, uh, yeah, I mean, if you if you get the halfway point, right, you've already reached out and you've done your maximum. Okay, today is the twenty second, so uh, two weeks from today, two weeks from today, March fourth, yeah, February February fifth. Yes. Okay. Uh, now if we go February fifth to that would give us. Say mm -hmm. if we go to the end of March. I mean, you can break it down into thirds or quarters, too. I mean, you don't mm -hmm. have to stick with yeah. one deadline. If you look like you're on pace, okay, yeah. you're not just stop it. And we can, like you said, redirect funds. And well, we have to see how long phase one takes us. I mean, we need 30 volunteers well, first. The six of us can't you're right. necessarily and, and get 5,000 signatures in a couple of weeks. I'm but thinking one person um, could get between 10 and 20 signatures an hour if they went out uh, in a parking lot. Uh, because realistically, unless they let you like set up and sit down at yeah. the station in front of the store, uh, if you're just wandering around the parking lot for the clipboard, it takes everybody time to, to do it. Well, I'm, I'm thinking on more along the lines of 10. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm being optimistic with yeah. I think so. Let's say 10 an hour. February 18th is going to be a big thing then, because if you're sitting there with the voter registration people, yeah. Right across from them. Right. That's going to be a realistic idea right. of what's going to happen. You got A people who are registered, and B if they're not, they go right there. Well, and you know that's uh, well big of it. You know we we've always got the opportunity to big events like that. Like if I go to Taco Church group, or uh, I'm looking at possibly in the next couple weeks going to Taco Synagogue. You know if we can get the, the people in a group of that size to say, hey, you know if you like the idea of me running at least here's a signature card. So there are events like that where we can get a, a sizable number. But uh, I'm just thinking for one person to collect uh, 200 signatures who's just coming in cold and volunteering and maybe knows two or three people uh, who could do it and then would have to be out, you know, in the parking lot of Publix or whatever. Yeah, so 10, 10 an hour. Well, 10 mm -hmm. might be a little off. I, I'm, I'm speaking, you know, yeah. I mean, I'm speaking from experience of actually having gone out in the parking okay. lot and asked people okay. like a man on the street questions as journalists. Uh -huh. Uh, it, you know, especially getting somebody to fill somebody out, uh, to fill something out like that. Uh -huh. Yeah, uh, ten might be optimistic. So we're we're talking optimistically twenty hours of yeah. a volunteer time it would take for the one person to just go out and do it cold. And it's unfortunate. I know you like living here because you're in the community that you represent. Unfortunately, I 
probably guess that 60 to 80 percent of them aren't registered. Oh, I know, I know. And this is this is a problem. You know, <laughs> this is a this is a big problem. Uh, you know, we were talking about this the other day. Something like uh, 75 to 80 percent of college educated people vote, and uh, you know, college education levels are around 40 something percent. And you look at a, a general election where you have 60% of people are like, who are these non-voters? Well, do the math. If 80% of the 40% who's educated is voting, that's the majority of the voters right there. You know, it's, uh, the, the, uh, the people who don't have the education are the ones that aren't getting, you know, aren't getting registered. So another thing well, I think do is, uh, I don't know how it works, but you can actually set up a little booth right outside the house here and uh, give them information on voter registration. So you have to be real careful with the voter yeah. registration stuff, though, because uh, it, uh, you can't do a partisan uh, registration drive uh, because that, like, tries yeah, to get people to just giving the information on where to register for vote. You could do that, but you can't do that. That's what we're trying to do. Yeah, you can do that, but you can't do it in, like, an organized manner. I, I, see, yeah. I see zoning violation in the future if you do Yeah, that's another issue, too, with zoning. Um, although I think this house is, uh, is zoned as... Uh, I don't know what it is in Fort Myers, but it's the Church Community Center down there. Oh, really? Okay. Because we're part of the property of the mosque. Mm -hmm. So we might be able to get away with a little more here. That's not a reason to start with. Cool. Um, I think if it's like anything, EPEC does, or like at Edison, where we're going to have the voter registration for those are the best drives. I mean, that's, that's the problem with this area. There's no public um, center where people are. I mean, downtown is not really a socialization center. It seems like everywhere where there's crowds of people is private property. Yeah. Stand outside in the, the, uh, in the mall, stand outside Barnes & Noble, I mean, wherever you are, I mean, there's no public city center. And the, mall won't let you, you, the mall won't let you within a, a right. thousand feet of doing anything civic there. Is there any way to stand outside of voter registration centers like the driver's license? Uh, I think you might be able to do the parking lot. I think there, there's like a there's like a range. Like a uh -huh. Because that's ideal territory. They're going yeah. in the range. Well, but I don't know. I would, we'd have to look into that. Uh, in the worst case, we was corner pharmacies in the same plaza. Yeah. yeah, that's true. So yeah. you can always use their, yeah. uh, their space. Yeah. Yeah. And a lot of it would be amenable to us. Uh, yeah. so I know there's a few business owners that would be willing to let us. And then right there, so you're getting a lot of people on using uh, yeah. Medicaid and stuff going through there, so you yeah. can feel over them and hey. Yeah. Voter registration right over there. That's a good idea. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, the body gets all his signatures in one day. Right. <laughs> I'm done. Between <laughs> events and really, we need to harness social networking aspect. Mm -hmm. If we're doing an online campaign, and that's a big part of it, and this will really allow people to see what's going on with the campaign, we need to reach out. You know, everybody local we can find on MySpace or. Live journal or anything, just keep with it and set up somewhere where people can stop by and sign a registration card. You know, the, the biggest issue that I've come up with so far on uh, online stuff, I have been networking as nearly as hard as I should, but uh, I think the closest I've gotten to anybody local on Justin TV was like Fort Lauderdale. Yeah. But Justin you know, TV is I know, it's a small, it's yeah. a really small community. Yeah. So it's not Honestly, I, you know, I hate being the guy who says MySpace, but. Yeah, everybody's on it. Everybody's either on that or Facebook. I set you up a Facebook group. Mm -hmm. You should probably set up a personal one as well, mm -hmm. and just start networking with everybody who's got the same city in their uh, the same, you know, Fort Myers, Cape Coral, any local. Well, I'll tell you what. Um, you're probably the person who's most adept at doing that. Who knows those networks well? Uh, I don't see anything. Uh, I don't see any ethical issue with just setting it up as a campaign. Website and just uh, would you be willing to spear that? Sure. Okay, just uh, I mean we've got you know, that our real primitive. Let me know what information you need from me and then just go out there right. and just we need uh, you know the, the good catchy blur to uh, yeah. make people want to be involved basically mm -hmm. if it's just being involved through a signature or volunteering. Right. How much would it cost to get pre-addressed envelopes to hand out with the cards to the people that don't want to fill them out on the spot? That's pricey. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah that's real pricey. Uh, what we yeah. Or uh, just the stickers, and tell them to post this on an envelope and send it to us. Um, the labels. Well, the problem is then that you don't know how many you're actually going to get. Yeah. Because then you've got, you want to get them on the spot. Well, I'm just saying, but like as a reserve, then you don't want to throw away a pinch. I mean, it's, it's not going to be a lot, but there are some people who just don't have the time and they would fill it out otherwise. Yeah. Well, you can. In that case, you can just 
Yeah, yeah, you're not gonna, you're not gonna do something just print up like a few envelopes. And well, you know, just the labels would be fine yeah. too. It, 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 they don't have an envelope for either. Okay. Are we going to be sending our information in the mail? That's, that's right. Uh, I would love to do that. That is a huge expense. Forty-five because, cents per. Well, uh, yeah, you get bulk well, mail. You get bulk mailing rates for that. But you do. Yeah, for, for postage, you get bulk mailing rates. But then you also have to figure the uh, uh, you need volunteers to put uh, put everything together, and then you have to buy the materials. Thanks a lot for coming, guys. Uh, Jerry. Let me get uh, let me get your number before you leave. I, I will be don't write it down. Don't because we're down. So yeah. Just write it down in there. And it's the 29th is your meeting, right? Uh, what time is it? Six. Six. Okay. Uh, let me. I'll, I'll give you a call, and uh, we'll make sure that we're there on the uh, on the 29th. You know, um, I think that uh, even with, uh, uh, you know, I, 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 uh, you know, I, I think it's, I, I think it's a good idea to have that backup plan of these six thousand six hundred eight uh, dollars. Um, uh, but thanks for coming. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Yeah. It's good to meet you. Yeah. Plus, then, uh, you know, we're always going to end up needing $6,600 anyway, so. Crazy Congress. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, how you doing? Mm -hmm. uh, can I get back with you in about, uh, about a half hour? Okay. Yeah. Uh, what, um, I got your number here, but what is it? Oh, okay. yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. 986 The problem is, I guess, I'll give you a call back in about, you know, finish the deadline. We have a deadline. If we submit that 6,000, then we need to find that part out. If there's a deadline, there's no sense in even coming close to it. Because if if we're not on like projection to get seventy five percent over, right. then there's absolutely no reason to so we need to figure out how how long it's gonna take for us to fill out phase one, which is getting a lot of volunteers. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And yeah, uh, where do we get where do we get these cards? Uh we can we can print those up ourselves or if you ask the uh the voter office they're obligated to print them up for you. For free? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, but they charge you it's a small process. It's like ten cents a card to process, so it'll be like six hundred dollars to get all the signatures. That might be cheaper than printing it on your own print. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And also, I don't know if it would be an issue here in this district, but in the past, ones like this, has, there's been a problem. Uh, in Ohio, in 2006, it was a problem where they said, "Oh, your registration forms aren't printed on the right stock of paper. We're not counting them." Yeah. So well, I would rather get them to us on the phone. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I would rather get them directly from them. Okay. But there, I mean, there's no reason that we shouldn't have the 6,000 because if we do have the fortune of uh, getting enough signatures that will definitely be set, then we're still going to need that marketing budget. Okay, now there. That way people know your name and then at least we have a backup. Well, that's the idea. Yeah. Yeah. We, at least we shoot for the signatures. Okay. For so the first phase of getting the. It's a PR thing. You know, 30 yeah. Yeah. It's got to do ahead to it. Okay, yeah. you all are my five people. <laughs> Uh, I mean, are we your five? Yeah, yeah. You're, you're my five. Yeah. Wait, wait. That means he has to be in his own face. That's true, yeah. Nobody named Pookie gonna get in my five. <laughs> so, uh, I mean, do you, uh, if we if we say two weeks from now we're gonna meet again, uh, do you guys think you can bring, get five people in here? Well, you know, let's give it a shot. In theory. Yeah. In theory. We're gonna have to push the furniture back. Well, you know, regardless, we got we can make it. Standing in attention, no problem. Well, it's not like we have to have these people in here for for you know any any more than half an hour would be bad for yeah. thirty people in here. Yeah. So let's make it quick. Well, well, we can do it elsewhere. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't have to be in this room. Well, we can we can have a library. Go outside. 
Yeah. You want to reserve those rooms for free? Yeah. Might as well take advantage of them. That's what they're there. Okay. Well then. But I'm asking, can you guys get five people? I think I can. I mean, you know, as long as we, as long as we set it, let's let's set the time because I mean that's that's going to be important. Yeah. So that is that is Tuesday. That won't be a good time. Uh, Tuesday, 7 o'clock. Uh, well, well, we all can get that. I don't think <laughs> I have school on Monday through Wednesday starting at 5.30 to 8.30. And on Wednesday at 1, or 11 through 1.30 in the afternoon as well. Well, we know that you're in the business. No, I'm just saying, I, I, if y'all want to do it, I, I will Well, what about Wednesday? Wednesday? Uh, yeah, about Wednesday. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's, the, that's the hardest day. What time is it? One, no, 11.30 to 1.30 and then again at 5.30. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm usually out of town. Yeah. Now, in the, well, like you said, well, I, if you don't need me here, that's fine. What do we do, like, split meetings to accommodate everyone's schedule? That's a good idea. Like, 10 people or something at once on one day. That's a great idea. Yeah, that's, 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 that's fine. All right. Um, I, I'm just because, you know, it's uh, talking to people and getting them to say, hey, that's a great idea is always just one thing, but actually getting them to commit to put in some time. Again, that, well, that's why we're doing yeah. this thing this thing in two weeks, just to see if it's feasible. I mean, okay. Because it's just a, it's a very short time frame, and then if we don't get it, we say, okay, well, you know, that, that, that we we'll try. You know what I mean? Okay, well, let's do two meetings then. Let's do one on Tuesday and one on, on Wednesday. Uh, what time? We'll do the Tuesday one. Did someone say seven? Okay, let's do the Tuesday one at 7, and then we'll do the Wednesday one uh, at mid-afternoon. That I mean, Wednesday is my super day where I'm trying to come most of the day. Yeah. So it's February 5th or 6th? Okay, let's switch those around. Let's do Wednesday, 7 p.m. Okay. That was, does that work for you? No, I can't be here on Wednesday. No. Wednesday? Can you make it Tuesday? I can make it Tuesday in the afternoon. Okay, yeah, okay, okay that's it. Right. Right. So we'll do it Wednesday. Wednesday at 7 p.m., and then Tuesday, uh, say, like, 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock. And this is February 5th? Mm-hmm. One, one o'clock, two o'clock on a Tuesday. How many people do you get to that? Well, I'm thinking, you know, the people that can come at night will come on Wednesday, and the people that can come during the day. Maybe, uh, four, maybe three? Two. Four, four five. Well, so he's at school. Five thirty, I have to come in at five thirty. I think last. Um. I like to make things well, you know, we know that you're to your with this campaign. You know, if, I mean, if well, you don't know, show up to one of the Right, but if I bring in people and I'm not there, it's kind of yeah. like, eh, I feel uncomfortable. I don't know we need these people. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, true yeah, enough. Yeah. Um, so well, yeah, I mean, well, why don't we, why don't we get, why don't we do, do something on a Saturday? Like, when people can come, actually. Yeah, when like, people like, like they won't come. Yeah, well, the people with lives will come on Saturday. Just look at the list of people earlier in the afternoon. Okay. Well, the Saturday the 1st, February 1st. Well, wait, why, well, why is Thursday eliminated exactly? In the afternoon. We can he's the well, the Wednesday. Wednesday. Well, he's doing Wednesday. Oh, yeah, yeah, we'll do okay, Wednesday. all right. Yeah, that's fine. Let's do Wednesday at 7 and... Yeah, we're bumping it back a day. I'm uh, mingling over days here. Um, so let's uh, Thursday at uh, what time? Uh, about five, maybe. Thursday at five and Wednesday at seven. Yeah, there we go. See, because I just don't think. I mean, yeah, you know, we. You know, if you, if you're looking to get senior citizens and retirees um, and just random unemployed people, you know, and call it, you know, call it, well. A lot of people don't like to do things before then. Mm-hmm. So, you know, like, one o'clock, I, I just think one o'clock is, yeah, on a weekday is, is, is just, uh, okay. it's just, 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 you're looking at the wrong day. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm looking at March. You got me all confused. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Okay. Wednesday the 6th at 7 p.m. And Thursday the 7th at 5 p.m. And then on the 18th, uh, what time is that? Uh? I don't have a time yet. I spoke with her uh, in passing today. Yeah. So. Okay. So on the 18th, we have a fair. On the 29th, uh, we're going to go to the... Uh, 
to the uh, actually it's the 29th of this month, January 29th. Uh, we're going to go to the neighborhood watch meeting. Uh, February 23rd, uh, we're going to have that, uh, that, uh, that documentary thing that Jack was talking about today. Uh, and then we have on March 1st, we have Lee Boyden's Vogus. So, okay. So, so five people on either Wednesday or Thursday. Um, now, the other thing is the campaign materials. Uh, logo. Yeah, get, a, get a new logo for us in the next week or two. Yeah. 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 Uh, I don't know about putting. That'll be pricey. They, uh, they're usually like ten pounds. We could have stored them. Oh, right. yes. Yeah, I remember. Yeah. Yeah. But we do need a new one of these with the Jack George for Congress logo. Yeah. And, and I hate to say it, but the bumper stickers. That would help if it had your name on it. Yeah, yeah. Well, these were these bumper stickers here. I mean, we're crazy for Congress. Dot com is still going to be around. So. Right. These aren't lost. Right. 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 Like Jack George and. That being the web address, like, yeah. Like yeah. For for like on the bumper stickers yeah. or on the on the, the brochure, yeah. we can do that. Yeah. Um, or I was thinking, you know, we could get T-shirts made and have you know Jeff George for Congress on the front and then Crazy for Congress on the back. Yeah. Um, I got a question. Um, and does anybody know what the hell the Statue of Liberty babies are doing? Because I see them every day now. Oh, they're 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 the Liberty Bench income tax. Okay. I was just wondering because. I was starting to get confused. I thought they'd go away eventually, and they definitely haven't. So, well, yeah, after they're, they're out April, it's April. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the other thing um, for the campaign literature, uh, everybody brainstorm on this. Uh, if you want to send me send me an email with some ideas, or if everyone wants to sit down, one afternoon. If you see, do you want color or just black? Is black color just good? Yeah, we can do black and white. Black and white's fine to start off with. But the, the main thing that we have to have in those flyers is that we need to, you know, we need to start setting in stone what the, the, the fundamental platform is. I would suggest five is. major social questions concerning this. Now, uh, keep in mind what we're trying to do here is we're, 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 not appeal, we're not trying to appeal to the traditional left or the traditional right. We're trying to find stuff that, that's going to. I don't want to the five questions with you because it sounds like, I mean, that doesn't. Well, I don't mean posing questions. I mean write your biography and then, and then address five major topics in a narrative form, not necessarily saying, okay, what do I think about this? Right. No. Address it and let them, I mean, that way you're not, there's no way that, I mean, especially if you take one major right issue and then one major left issue and then throw some middle ground in there also, then you spread the spectrum. No, we don't want to do that. We, I mean, we definitely, we have our issues. We just need to prioritize them and figure out what goes on the top three or the top five yeah. and get that in there. I mean, just rip off somebody's format from two elections ago and nobody will care. <laughs> well, hopefully we can do a little better. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, you know, and, um, uh, you know, let's, uh, you know, uh, I mean, if you want to uh, put together something, um, uh, uh, just an, out an outline, um, and uh, we can sort of Pick and choose from that, and okay. then we go back and, and, and write and edit. That. You and I will we'll work on that so okay. this week, and then what I'll do is I'll, I'll email it to everybody, and uh, I'll get your feedback on that. So by mid-February, the 18th, uh, that's when we have this booth. That's when we need all the materials. Uh, so we're going to uh, so we're going to need the, the logo well before that, so that we have time to get printed. What we need to get printed. Uh, and uh, we'll also we'll, we'll hash that out next week or so. So that, that we're, let's go ahead and say that the 18th, uh, we've got two deadlines. That's a big thing. Yeah, the 18th is that's the, I want to have a good organized booth for the 18th. Uh, and we'll need a couple people to volunteer to work the booth. I'll be there, of course. Well, I think it's a Monday. I'll be at the deal anyway. So. Uh, um, yeah, and I, I need the bio material, the issues for 
the mind space because it really needs to say what it needs to say before we go out and start adding. Okay. Uh, send me uh, tonight or tomorrow, and as soon as you get a chance, send me everything that you need me to do for the mind space stuff. Uh, it's really just that same thing. Like okay. Writing that. I mean, I'm, I'm not much of a writer. I can do the basic journalistic stuff, but, you know. Okay, yeah, and this is something we'll be able to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's, that's where I thought we got you. I need you to write for me. Yeah. Okay, so uh, one last real important question. Who wants pie? <laughs> <laughs> I got to go. I got to see. Uh, how, how much time do we have on it? Yeah, we're done. Yeah, well, yeah, well, I don't think.